Hello everyone, this is Kevin Alexander, back again, dude, this is my third time recording this video, because this, the laptop is starting to die on me. Anyway, I started to do like a pickups video for today, like I said this year, I'm slowing down, I'm slowing down on pickups video, because I want to focus on games I have in my backlog, and enjoy the games I have in my collection. But I, for recently, I picked up some, some stuff that I added to my collection, and all the other stuff, and all that stuff, so I got some stuff from GameStop, eBay, Bookmans and follow games. So now I'm wasting any time. Let's get started. Um, a 17.99 eBay pickup, free shipping. It's a replacement game, the original Xbox from Nancom Museum because the system, the game doesn't work on my original Xbox anymore. And I traded it in, and I got the uh, 64 version, which I played the most as a kid. So I traded that off and replaced this. This is a replacement for me. A re awesome game, an awesome co-op game at the best. The day game I'm talking about. Gauntlet Dark Legacy on the original Xbox. Um, I remember playing this, the arcade version as a kid, and playing it at Matthew's house, aka Game Boy SB13 on his PS2. It's a really, really great game, really good co-op game, and it's really fun. Um, and GameCube version of the game is really, really so expensive. So, And no matter what system you play on, whether on PS2, Xbox, GameCube, play Gauntlet Dark Legacy. If you're playing on the games, or like co-op games, I highly recommend Gauntlet Legacy for $17.99. Free shipping on eBay for Call of Dark Legacy. Really, really happy to have this replacement game in my original Xbox collection. Now, GameStop. Um, I went to wait. I went. I went to a GameStop and picked up the uh, a Wii Classic Pro controller. Now I have the original controller. Now I have a second one. So now I can play. Now we have. Now every time I'm one of my friends come over, all that I want to play some Wii games like Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, whatever games that I want to play. They could play with the Wii classic controllers so like every time I, i've been wanting this controller for a real while but every time i seen this co seeing control like game stores and all that at the time go for like, it was like 25 to 30 i don't want to pay for the like a pay for like a Wii controller but yeah so super super happy to have for 17.99 with my pro membership and all that for a second Wii classic pro controller super super happy to have though have a second Wii controller for my Wii. so super super happy about that and lastly, from GameStop, um, I got this uh, Crash Pop figure. Um, like I said, I'm not collecting pops and all that, but it like video game related and all that that I like. I really pick it up. But anyway, I got the Crash Bandicoot with the Scooby Doo in it. I was really looking for an original Crash Bandicoot one, but GameStop close to my house didn't have this. But I picked this one. But it's not bad, but bad, but bad to have. But I at least have a Crash Bandicoot pop in my uh, PlayStation shop next to my Spider Runs for so eleven ninety nine for a um, a Crash Bandicoot pop figure. You can't be that, and it's still gonna be looking good, displaying on my PlayStation shelf next to my Spider Run. So, yeah, there's that. Put you over here. And now, we're on to Bookman's game. Bookman's. Um, now, um, for fifteen dollars, I've picked up a third, a third party aftermarket of Fire Orange N64 controllers for fifteen dollars. Like, I was really, really looking for like four controllers for a real while, but. Every time, like, I call a like, game store and all that, one like Nintendo brand and all that, they want twenty five and so like thirty dollars for the like, Nintendo brand. I don't want to pay for that controller, but fifteen bucks for a um for a, a Wii for a not the Wii for a, a Fire Orange after party N sixty four controller. You can't beat that. I tested it. It's like like a de decent controller. This decent sick. I was playing Mario Kart sixty four with it, but for now, I have four controllers for the N sixty four, and so happy to have a color controller for the end color color n64 controller in my in my uh, 64 uh controller collection so yeah there's that sorry my sorry i'm talking fast but i don't want to waste any time but i got this for 34 dollars and 50 cents with 13 dollars with trade credit I got a train new new Super Brothers, mario brothers u and name comes i'm all together for a uh a, some people say like a bad port of it and not big not as good as a Dreamcast version, but hey, it's still a port, it's still, still a game, it's still Marvel vs. Capcom, but that is the PS1 version of Marvel vs. Capcom. And yes, I know it's the uh, bad port, the bad port of the uh, Dreamcast version, which I load times and all that, but hey, it's still Marvel vs. Capcom, and yeah, but the P Dreamcast version of, of this, of this, of Marvel vs. Capcom is way so expensive. 
but the, the PS1 version, it goes for like $35 to $40. But for $23 for a, uh, for with the trade credit for, for the like real tip price of the PS1 for the Marvel Capcom can't be that. I have so many arcade memories playing Marvel Capcom and can't wait to uh, super super happy to have this in my PS1 collection. So yeah, super super happy to have that. So that's it, all the bookman stuff. So now I'm going to follow our game. So another cool I want to do this year. Besides like taking a break from buying games, I focus on buying games on my box line, the drawing games I have in my collection. That I want to get some boxes and manuals for my games. So, so I really want to like, 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 like get some, like get some boxes, get like boxes, like screen protectors and all that for my games to display on my shelves and all that. So I, so I got all, so I got all the boxes and manuals for forty six dollars each. So, um, yeah, so really, really, really super, super happy silk to show you guys. So, so let's start off with the, uh, the manuals first. I got the, uh, the Pokemon, uh, Fire Red one with the poster in it. I got that for, uh, 10 bucks. So I cannot wait to get the, cannot wait to get the box or a case for a Pokemon Fire Red and put it in the case for my Pokemon Fire Red game. So, it's so for 10 bucks. Super, super happy about that. And I got these for like five bucks each. Um, I got the new Super Mario Wii manual and a Luigi Mansion manual. So super, so both of these for five bucks can't be that. So super, super happy. Have, 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 I was looking for a Luigi Mansion manual for a really long time. I've been looking for this one as well. So super, super happy. Have, have these manuals in my games for my uh, games for my collection. So. Yeah, so let me put it in right now. Voila! Luigi Mansion now complete. And New Samora's Wii is now complete. So now, now, so that's really, really good out there. So now for like twenty dollars, and I used to have this, have this game, game years ago when I was a teenager and all that. But I didn't have a mouse at the time, so I was super super happy to have got this game back in my collection. I finally got the uh, the Hyperkin Super NES mouse, and just to see it will work with Mario Paint, and it really really works. And I got this for twenty dollars, and the guy bundled it with. Mario Paint, which I'm super super happy I have this back in my Super Nintendo collection, and I love Mario Paint. You can paint, create, make music, all that stuff. But yeah, I used to, like I said, I used to have this um like ye years ago, but I was sold it at the time because I didn't have a mouse for it, and now I have the mouse, I can really play now. So so for twenty dollars with the bundle with the uh, with Mario Paint, can't be that, and I'm super super happy to have. This game back in my NES collection, so super super happy about that. Now, the boxes right here. These three, these three boxes, Super Nintendo boxes that boxes for like ten dollars each. So the last pickups of the day were I pick up three Super NES boxes, boxes for ten bucks each. And I put the games, put my games from my childhood games in there. I just show you, I'll show you guys the boxes for ten bucks each. I got the uh, the box for Super Mario All Stars. Box is a little damaged, but eh, it's all right. So ten bucks of that can beat that. I got the box cop box really good condition box copy box copy of F Zero. I put the game in there, and really really good condition too. Like I said, ten bucks can beat that. And lastly, the last box game I need. And that is the original Star Fox. It has the manual with it too, and then no insert in there and all that. But it has the uh, the I have I put my game in there, put my game for my childhood in there. It has a manual too. So for thirty dollars for these three Super Mario boxes, for these Super NES boxes, the boxes for the games that I have for my childhood. You can't be that, and super super happy happy boxes 
boxes inside my games for my Super Nintendo collection. So really, really good pickup for like forty six dollars and all the forty six dollars and have all that game. So super super have to have that in my collect so have those in my collection. And that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this pickup video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. If you want to follow me on my Facebook fan page at Facebook Cockcast that's Kemp's out of game page. New videos coming out soon. And I'll see y'all next time with another video. Thank you very much. And goodbye.